to volcanic giants, a comparative case study of the Yellowstone, and Krakatoa eruptions in the context of scale and power. Volcanoes are among the most awe-inspiring natural phenomena on Earth. They can build new land, alter climates, and at times, erase entire civilizations from existence. Yet not all eruptions are created equal. Some strike with blinding speed and violence, while others unfold as slow-burning threats that dwarf human imagination in their sheer scale. Among the most iconic examples stand the volcanic giants, Yellowstone, the massive supervolcano beneath North America, and Krakatoa, the island volcano in Indonesia whose 1883 eruption became legendary. Both demonstrate the extremes of Earth's volcanic activity, yet they differ profoundly in how they release their energy, the scale of their destruction, and the way they shape human history and scientific understanding. Yellowstone, Earth's sleeping titan. Yellowstone is not a cone-shaped volcano rising above a skyline, but rather an enormous caldera vast depression formed by the collapse of land. After past eruptions, spanning more than 70 kilometers across, this hidden giant lies beneath one of America's most famous national parks. Over the past 2.1 million years, Yellowstone has erupted three times on a supervolcanic scale, the most recent, around 640,000 years ago. Expelled over 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material enough to bury much of North America beneath thick ash. For comparison, the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens ejected just one cubic kilometer. The contrast illustrates the almost incomprehensible scale of Yellowstone's potential. If such an eruption occurred today, the consequences would be staggering. Ashfall. A blanket of ash could render large parts of the U.S. Midwest uninhabitable for years. Agricultural collapse. Croplands would be destroyed, leading to famine on a global scale. Climate shift. Sulfur dioxide injected into the stratosphere would reflect sunlight, cooling Earth by several degrees triggering what scientists call a volcanic winter. Unlike Krakatoa, Yellowstone's danger does not lie in sudden explosions or tsunamis, but in planetary disruption. Its power is measured in longevity and global reach, capable of altering Earth's systems for centuries. And yet, Yellowstone today is quiet at least on the surface. Geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles bubble with energy, and seismic swarms occasionally ripple through the park. These are whispers of a restless magma chamber below, a reminder that though Yellowstone sleeps, it is far from extinct. Krakatoa, the day the world heard the volcano. In stark contrast stands Krakatoa, the small volcanic island nestled between Sumatra and Java. On August 27, 1883, it unleashed one of the most violent eruptions in recorded history. The eruption was so powerful that the explosion was heard over 3,000 miles away from Australia to Meridius, often cited as the loudest sound in human history. Tsunamis over 40 meters high swept across coastlines, destroying more than 160 villages and killing over 36,000 people. Some estimates place the toll even higher. The eruption ejected about 20 cubic kilometers of ash and rock into the atmosphere, far less than Yellowstone's output, but devastating in its suddenness and violence. The skies of the late 19th century bore witness to Krakatoa's impact. Sunsets became vividly red and orange worldwide, 
inspiring art and literature, even influencing Edvard Munch's famous painting. The Scream scientific records show that global temperatures dropped by roughly one. To see a chilling reminder of how a single eruption can alter climate. Krakatoa's fury reshaped geography as well. The island itself was nearly obliterated, leaving only fragments above the sea. Out of its remains, a new volcanic Konanic, Krakatoa, or Child of Krakatoa, began to grow in the early 20th century, continuing the legacy of this volatile region. Scale and Power – Lessons from the Giants While both Yellowstone and Krakatoa represent volcanic extremes, they teach us different lessons about scale and power. Yellowstone – Scale without immediate violence volume of erupted material Approximately 1,000 cubic kilometers ve Volcanic Explosivity Index Eight maximum possible consequences. Global climatic disruption. Mass extinction risk. Decades of uninhabitable regions. Character, rare, but catastrophic when it occurs. Krakatoa, violence without immense volume of erupted material. Approximately 20k MEVEI. Six consequences. Immediate loss of life. Tsunamis. Atmospheric shockwaves, global cultural memory, character, smaller in scale, but explosively destructive to human society. This comparison underscores a critical truth. A volcano's danger cannot be judged solely by size. Yellowstone's threat lies in its rare, colossal potential, while Krakatoa embodies how even smaller eruptions can devastate civilizations and leave cultural. Scars – The Human Perspective One of the most striking contrasts between these two giants lies not beneath the Earth, but within human history. Yellowstone's past eruptions predate human civilization. No written record exists of its fury, only geological. Evidence, thick ash layers, caldera scars, and mineral deposits. For humans today, Yellowstone is both a scientific mystery and a looming hypothetical its true danger lies in the unknown future. Krakatoa's eruption, however, unfolded in a world already tied together by telegraphs, newspapers, and global shipping routes. Within days, the news of its explosion reached across continents. Its effects were chronicled in journals, newspapers, and scientific reports, making Krakatoa one of the first truly global natural disasters in human history. Where Yellowstone exists in geological memory, Krakatoa lives in human memory its story passed down through survivors, observers, and the indelible imprint it left on culture.